This is our second show. I'm Todd, and this is Dan. And today we're going to be making drunken kebab appetizers. So let's get started. So tonight we're going to be cooking an ape tit fillet. Ape tit? Ape tit. It's a petite fillet. It's actually a great cut of meat that not many people know about. It's terrace major on the cow. It's a shoulder cut of meat. A lot of butchers just take this cut and they make it into hamburger and some other stuff. But if you go to the butcher shop, you ask for a petite fillet or the terrace major muscle, you'll get a really good cut of meat. I mean, this stuff's about $6 a pound. Uh, it's the same tenderness and consistency as a uh, tenderloin. So. But um, it's going to cost you 6 bucks a pound instead of $13 a pound. So that's why you want to get it. We've got the uh, petite fillets. We've been letting them sit in an alcohol brine. Wow. Brining is kind of a, a, a different way to to cure your meat. It's, uh, it's different from marinades. Marinades are more to add flavor to your meat. Uh, brine is really a, a salt and sugar mixture, usually with water. Uh, it's really just to keep the juices of the meat in the meat instead of uh, letting them leak out while you're cooking. So why an alcohol brine? I mean, most brines are just made with water. We want to add a little extra flavor. We actually took some Jackrabbit Pale Ale from Carver Brewing Company. Jackrabbit's a really hoppy beer. Uh, the extra hoppiness in the, the beer really adds a lot of good flavor to the meat. We also put in a shot of good bourbon. Took the, the bourbon from Peace Street Distilleries, we added it to the brine. Uh, the bourbon flavor is just going to really add a nice flavor to the meat. Indoor grill right now. This this is made by Lodge. They make some great indoor grills. Uh, we're gonna just put the skewers right on top. You hear it's nice and sizzly hot. Just gonna put all the kebabs right on the indoor grill. Now we're gonna turn these about not three or four times just to get all the sides nice and evenly cooked and uh, have our meat nice and golden brown. See, we got one good flip on these things, and um, we're going to cook them on this. We're going to flip them one more time, and they should be ready to come off in about five minutes. Got a little hot sauce, a little bit of onions, a little bit of Miss Anna's sauce, a little bit of Dijon mustard. We're ready to start eating these guys. You can see how juicy these kebabs came out. And that's what a brine will do for you. It'll keep the moisture in the meat. And that's why we brine our meat. Todd's already started eating them. What do you think? I think that means they're good. Um, we've got a couple different sauces here. These things would be great for any sporting event, any afternoon snack. Shoot, I could eat these things for dinner like this. Um, I say we start eating. I think that's a very good idea. All right, we'll see you next time. See you next time. La 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 Sissy boy